Hi. What is happening? I thought I, I'm so happy we're doing video. I, they, it, you're, it was just a picture of your face, like the night, the nicest profile shot for like five minutes. I'm like, I just was it a selfie? Me? No, it was like a headshot. It was a great picture of Bennett. Wait, you know what, Charlie? That was actually a headshot from when I was interviewing you when you came by the station last, like whenever that was. Was That's it really? Long. Yeah, we were doing like poots yeah. toots. We were like, yeah. Wow, time goes by really quickly, doesn't it, Bennett? It's yeah. crazy. Now we're like in the thirties club. I know. Well, you're you're next. Thirties? No, you're in the thirties. I'm next <laughs> in February. How was your your birthday, by the way? My birthday was interesting. I. Uh, I, James Corden uh, sang Valerie for everybody on stage, and then Vin Diesel uh, sang See You Again. So it was a very uh, random, eclectic musical birthday. That's I was happy about it. Pretty epic, though. Like, you you won't forget it. Definitely. Yeah, I used to it. think that we were the same person, but you're becoming more and more unrelatable to my life. <laughs> ben I, it, none of that happened to me. Ben <laughs> it, ben it. <laughs> we still share an avid love of chicken wings don't worry we're still gonna absolutely mm-hmm. way back when me and him feasted on chicken wings at his trailer um this was back in 2015 after uh you oh performed see you again like wow. y'all go way back. Eat, like shit and it wouldn't affect me at all it would just I, I could just go to you know philadelphia the next day and be fine yeah i was gonna ask you like things like that are different now like you're you're 30 like I remember talking to Ed Sheeran, like he had like a coming of age album when he turned 30, like different perspective on life. Are you having that as yeah. well? Or have you gone through the crisis yet? <laughs> right. No, I, th- I think so. I think I just got better at making music, to be completely honest. I, I, I love voice notes and I love my first album. But this album that obviously Light Switch is out now. So it's kind of like a little sonic preview of what is going to be um, on the rest of the album. But I've been kind of teasing uh, every song on TikTok, my goal is for everybody to know each song title when the album drops. So, and it, I, I, I'm got, I've gotten a lot better at actually putting uh, my real life experiences, just not coming up with hypotheticals and putting them in music, which is scary because not that great at expressing my emotions. But when there's melody attached to it, it's kind of easy, easier. Yeah, they're so. Um... There's so many, like when you were making Light Switch, it feels like you were incorporating the fans, like, cause you were on TikTok and you were like, this is what I'm doing. And, you know, people could reply and comment. So did you mean to do that? Or, or was it just like, oh, this is happening. And so I'm getting feedback. So let's make a song together with, with all these people. The honest truth is I couldn't think of, I, I always, if I weren't doing what I do now which is being an artist record producer whatever you want to call it I would be a teacher because I get a certain joy out of um teaching someone how to like make a song a music teacher I'm not good at math or anything else but I'll teach you music and TikTok is a way for me to kind of do that in an entertaining way and show off my goofy ass um but with light switch I it's a result of me having an hour to spare thinking okay let's just make a let's just make a song. Well, let's do it. We call it a Hail Mary. If it's good, great. If it's not good, well, I won't put it out. And that video that has like 70 million hits, if you look at it closely, I'm, th- those reactions are real. Like I literally couldn't believe I flicked a light switch and put a sound on beat and called the song, uh, you turn me on like a light switch. I just, I wanted to make a song like Shape of You by Ed, you mentioned Ed that is just lyrically no story behind it just very direct and matter of fact so interesting like it blows my mind that you were so transparent on on tiktok uh and and kind of giving um just like letting the fans and the audience kind of like pick your brain like be in that experience uh with you do you think that i don't see too many artists do that if any is that going to be like a, a new thing for you? Like throughout the, like you said, you're going to bring in the titles of the rest of the album, yeah. but I feel like that's like your thing now. I feel like just, it's just incredible to watch, honestly. Well, thanks, man. I, I, I want to inspire other artists to do it as well, because you don't, my, my whole thing. And I, and I was inspired to do this by Kid Leroy. When I wrote stay with him, he started uh, recording like and on Instagram live, the chorus to stay. And I'm like, are you going to, wait a little bit until we we need to produce the track out now and he was like no it's good 
good enough. Let's just give it to them early. I'm like, we, we wrote this 20 minutes ago. And he was like, yeah, exactly. And then for a year, everybody was wondering where the song was. That's where I originally came up with the idea. He's a really talented kid and very inspiring uh, to be around. And Lil Nas X uh, showcasing his music before, you know, like four months before. I could easily do that and just show the song over and over again and pound it in people's heads. And then by the time it comes on the radio, they're like, oh, I remember this from TikTok. But what if they felt like, I always start with every TikTok, what if, what if, what if, <laughs> right, right, right. what if they felt like they wrote the song with me, then they're really going to want to listen to it because they feel like they're part of the, of the process. I hadn't seen anyone do that anymore. So if I can inspire any other artist that writes music to do that, I mean, I would watch those. I would watch. Oh, yeah. yeah, I feel like you're you're starting a new trend. I feel yeah. like everyone's going to do this. And I talked to the kid Leroy about you and he was like, he's the most brilliant, he's talking about you, like most brilliant mind he's ever worked with. Um, like I've, I've told you this, it's like interviewing Mozart most of the time. Like you, <laughs> like you like, you know, saying pitches when people burp or whatever, like your, your mind is just, does it ever turn off? Like a light um, <laughs> No, no, it's, it's so funny you say that too, because that, was the original lyrical concept for light switch that i had in my head because i was trying to think of a tiktok and i was thinking what you just said exactly of like i uh, i i wish i could turn my mind off if i had a light switch i could just turn my mind off and it was this like ballad thing and i'm thinking to myself no people want to people have been cooped up at home and they want to get out and dance it's like what if there was a song i feel like i'm making a tiktok right now what if there was a song that was 184 <laughs> that light switch is the fastest song that you're probably playing by the way, thank you for playing it. It's the fast, it's 184 BPM. It's obnoxiously fast. It's like, it's, it's almost like borderline too fast. But <laughs> I always just like to, like when Attention came out, I hadn't heard a song with a, like a, a kick in a bass part. Like mm -hmm. that was a lot that went with the uh, chorus melody. So I'm just always trying to think of different shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited for the album now because Absolutely. it's been like what more than three years since yeah. it's been a long time. You've obviously been working on stuff and you know collabing, but um what are you like most excited about this upcoming album? Is it a lot like this song? Like is it all different kind of everywhere? You're your brainchild. <laughs> the only thing that's uh similar is the fact that I'm singing. Uh, every song my voice you, you know it's me because I'm singing it but each song has its own uh is is in its own world nothing is borrowed I didn't take one kick drum and use it for another um kick drum although this kick drum in stay is also in the kick drum in light switch but it's uh but that's not my song so it doesn't matter there's <laughs> I, I I made the I made the whole album I, I produced the whole album and I had to really rely on um, talking to myself for inspiration. I couldn't uh, uh, travel and see you guys and have some great food and go on my tour bus and with my laptop and make a song and uh, be uh, inspired by being around real people. I, ha I was alone when I made this album. I went to the studio every day at nine o'clock, the studio that you see on TikTok in Hollywood. Every day at nine o'clock, I was the first one in and I would stay until 10 p.m. sometimes. And it was really about the drive over. If I didn't come up with a song on uh, from Beverly Hills to Melrose, uh, I wouldn't have anything to write about. I, it's a car, I depended on car rides and- <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Self-reflection. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you see this video, Charlie, of, I think it was, it was like Madonna, Kanye West, Antonio Brown, like they're all on this couch, just like jamming out to music. So my question is- To be is, a fly on that wall, I know, my God. No kidding. Yeah. So yeah. if you are doing like an album for, like an album premiere and you can have five people, let's just mm. say, sit on this couch, the very first people to hear it, Ooh. act like no one else has heard it, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure some people have, but right. who yeah. would it be? Who, who are your five people? I mean, Madonna is a pretty good option. <laughs> yeah, that's a good start. That's a good start. I would uh, granted love for Madonna to hear my music, maybe if she even knows who I am. Uh, and Kanye, I got to shake Ye's hand one time. That was cool. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. 
You got three more people. Who's on that couch? That couch has all that room. Oh, yeah. um, do, do we get invited? I mean, we'll, yeah. we'll listen, but I don't think we qualify. <laughs> I don't think we can sit next to Madonna. We're not as cool. I, I think Ben and Raven have to come. And I think maybe Max Martin, the, the, the pop Swedish God, who I do all this stuff for. He's my main inspiration. Um, I, could, I can throw my mom in there, too. I think I like, I like Mama it. Dukes, come on, of course. <laughs> I like it when she's not a pity me. invite. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, she's she's there regardless. I see her every day. She's texting me. Yeah. Now. So, like, when's the when's the date for the album? Like, we've talked yeah. about the album. I'm excited. Are we? Well, you know, I can't give that away. I t- took me five months. We ate chicken fingers. What about a season? Can we get a season? <laughs> Springtime. Spring. <laughs> okay. It's, it's gonna be like spring. It's gonna be the springtime that doesn't suck on the east coast it's not going to be like okay oh it's spring but it's 40 degrees outside mm. i love that for us yeah. yeah i hate when it's like spring but it's not it's yeah. like what the hell it's a tease mm-hmm. anybody so, for real I, spring anybody who's listening to this that isn't from the east coast does has no idea what we're talking about it's either i don't know <laughs> it's a letdown spring it's okay. a letdown spring yeah, yeah. all right all right, so I okay, that's that's a hint. That's good. I'll take that. Yeah, well, we're really excited to hear the album. The song um, is amazing, and I really do Thank like feel a part of it because I was watching you on TikTok, like make uh, all these different parts, and I'm just like, oh, this is so. We're fun. all co-writers now. I'm gonna put that I on know, my resume. Yeah. It's my I need new a Wikipedia. You know? <laughs> I gotta call my lawyer. It's a publishing nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> what a hassle. The great Charlie Food. Thank you so much yeah, for joining us. Thank you. So good to see you guys. Hopefully, I get to see you in person again soon. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hopefully. Gosh, when will that be? No All one right. knows. Right? <laughs> Until then, I'm going to get some more. Until then. Until then. Dun, dun, dun. The year was 2033. We finally <laughs> yeah. saw Charlie Food. We finally saw him. <laughs> <three. laughs>